Hello, good day everyone. Um, thank you for watching our showreel um, about um, what we have gone through for the past six years. So basically that was the summary of it. Okay, um, today we are going to talk about deliberating optimism and reclaiming the joy in education via Joho Club. Okay, first of all, I would like to um, tell you about Creativis. So basically, Creativis is the creative agency behind all this Joho Club, the events, the yes. brand and everything. And Joho is one of the popular brand that you guys know. <clears throat> and today, um, I'm going to talk specifically about Joho Club. So let me start with um, our current situation. Um, basically, um, this is our average uh, timeline. For 17 years, uh, normally we gone through schooling time from four to six years old in somewhere between um, 16 or 17, we will finish our school time. Yeah. And then we have this idle time after SPM, waiting for our enrollment. And then we start off with uh, part time doing Starbucks things or McDonald's or any other jobs. Some of us, the lucky ones might go to national service as the government introduced since a few years back. And then some have no direction in what to do, what the ambition is, and so on. And then um, after the UPU, and then they get some will go to continue um, doing their certification, diploma, degree, uh, things like that. And some for informal education, maybe doing workshop things um, like uh, being a mechanic or things like that or some maybe um, go through hardship um, through companies, um, landing in a um, job starting from Clark and then climb the ladders. And maybe some portion of it have still no clue about what they want to do. And then uh, from 25 years old in average, this is where uh, most of us um, spending most of our life working, building our career, professional, non-professional, work um, in various fields, building families, um, meeting new things, trying, experimenting things, and so on. Okay, so the point that uh, I'm trying to make today is um, about the existence of Joho Club. So basically, why Joho Club comes into the picture since past six years, this is because of um, throughout our um, daily life last time, when I was working, and then Yustri also was working in KL, and then uh, from our small discussion, lepa lepa, and then you know have a chit chat here and there uh, outside JB, and then we keep complaining about, hey, there is no cool place, cool spot in JB, and at that time Jalan Dobi was still famous with pondan, maknya, yeah. and uh, drug addicts <laughs> and so on, and then uh, so. We meet a lot of good people, um, Johorian, outside Johor, doing things that they love, but they cannot work or apply what they like in JB or in Johor. So they need to work somewhere else, either in Singapore or KL or abroad. So uh, we found out some of the things happens because of, uh, for example, my background is engineering. Um, I do it because I like it but uh, it's not uh, because of parent pressure or something. But some of us um, might um, doing the things that they like, for example, being a doctor uh, because of uh, pressure from the parents or the family or the um, community. So some because of the economic pressure and some because of inherit the business. They don't want to do that thing, but they are pressured to do it because it's uh, inherit from the family. <clears throat> so, working in wrong field will result um, in the future in bad performance. So, for example, um, a doctor, um, maybe at the age of 40, and then he started to realize, okay, this is not my things, um, I should be doing uh, being a pianist or something, and then that will, will be reflecting on his job performance. Okay, so the idea of Joho Club is basically to support the current academic system. We are not complaining or against the um, current um, education system, but complementing by providing uh, platforms, mismatching uh, groups, 
hosting, uh, basically through the creative agency, we make it handsome. So it's not a new thing that we do. It's just that um, how we display it. For example, the concert, uh, we mismatch um, like the rhythm, who are the bands, the parties that involve, and then not only that content, we also put some knowledge sharing base, we put some um, talent, showing skill, sports, and so on. Okay. Okay, for the idea, which is, for the first event, kenapa kita orang bring event untuk our touch to community, to audience? Because event ni, something yang boleh attract orang dalam, masa, uh, dalam satu hari atau dua hari, boleh attract lot of people yang uh, then bila kita dah attract lot of people kita bring kita bagi dia apa content content yang menarik which is apa yang kita nak sampaikan ke audience macam uh, kita go for gego uh, first uh, our first event which is ini our experiment event tahun 2011 kita orang Sebelum. try untuk build up uh, apa eksperimen untuk event first dengan 300 orang kita orang expect untuk orang datang bila uh, the promotion kita buat through social media tahun 2000, uh, 2009 kita orang banyak more on uh, bagi just uh, apa gathering tarik the all creative people to to do uh, outing, ambil gambar, chill out, lepak-lepak, borak-borak. Then, kita orang come out dengan, uh, bila lepak tu beramai-ramai, kita come out dengan idea, why not we uh, try first event kita orang, which is Southern Project Arts Move Movement. So, kita survey and research, dan kita uh, dapatkan content yang re relevan dengan kita punya uh, needs time tu which is photography and videography and graphic things dan sikit element of music bila kita buat event ni dia start dengan 300 orang eh kita expect 300 orang ramai sebenarnya which is 1000 eh 3000 3000 orang ya. 3,000 orang datang time tu dan kita orang rasa ok, kalau kita buat benda ni benda ni berjaya first kita akan sambung lagi to the next, to the next dan kita lepas je uh, dapat achievement tu kita go for Gegor Johor Creative Festival dalam dalam Gegor ni selang 6 bulan 6 bulan uh, daripada tarikh uh, spam we learn yang yang creative community in Johor Bahru start tumbuh bagai cendawan ah itulah tu mata ah, itulah dia <laughs> <laughs> so kita nampak ada boom slang ada skateboarders ada uh, lot of thing macam uh, fix gear time tu lepas tu ada uh, Vespa lepas tu ada uh, skateboarder siapa semua so kita uh, kita nampak ada creative community 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 lain dan kita gatherkan to do dalam event which is kita create the platform for their the the spread dia punya skill dia punya knowledge dia punya things dalam satu event dalam satu hari so alhamdulillah sambutan begitu menggalakkan dan kita dah buat event gegar 4 tahun berturut sampai sekarang dan dan untuk event pasal bumbung pula ini uh, traditional event kita orang which is 7 tahun dah kita buat dan 7 tahun jugalah event ni ha, macam ni lah ramai dia ha, so ha, kalau tengok event ni dia mau pada gathering which is semua event yang kita buat adalah gathering untuk kita mingle around within community yang ada. Tapi on Paso Bumbong ni, dia mau pada kita nak tarik student yang ada kat luar Johor sebelum ni yang tak dapat datang on gegar, on event-event corporate yang lain which is yang kita pernah buat. 
Uh, so kali ni kita gatheringkan dia orang, kita give some uh, local injection which is dari segi music, creativity apa semua dan dia orang balik dia orang happy. Dan benda tu yang buatkan uh, soul dalam city itself which is sebelum ni kita tak ada apa-apa, kita keep complaining, keep just JB boring lah. Tak ada aktiviti yang best ke tak ada uh, something yang boleh kita proud so benda ni yang kita bring dan Alhamdulillah sampai sekarang uh, dah tujuh tahun kita yeah. buat uh, tiap-tiap tahun ada on this event dalam event event kita kita terapkan juga the classes workshop and talk which is ini macam sebagai contoh uh, kami bring Demis which is founder of Joe's Baba Uh, datang untuk uh, talk ke event kita orang dan dia bagi inspired to other people yang ada around macam lepas tu je ada a few a few bubble yang baru buka yeah. uh, so dia nampak dia spark kan untuk uh, new business for bubble pecahkan mindset of yang sebenarnya bubble pun boleh buat duit boleh make it cool boleh bukannya ravi uh, ravi saja kan ha. eh, mama <laughs> punya tu kan ha. so that's the thing sah i rasa benda ni works kalau kita do selalu dan uh, spread the news melalui classes workshop and talk macam workshop lah macam uh, kita orang panggil few people uh, macam leather workers uh, welding Bagi. kayu everything dan kita buat satu classes yang ha, kat situlah dia nak spread the uh, apa skill turunkan kat uh, younger generation to inspire them supaya kita tak macam ada choice pilihan untuk de- dari kecil-kecil kita fikir kita kena jadi polis doktor dan uh, sokong yang atas-atas tapi kita ada choice untuk pilih buat leader pun sebenarnya boleh make it money, boleh sustain ha, so kat macam tu lah ok <laughs> I pass to Mr. Zo. ok so basically the whole idea is again um, to expose the younger generation so daripada yang uh, budak-budak kecil ataupun youth ni semua dia tak, tak ada hal yang tuju, dia tak tentu arah ataupun dia um, at the moment we have the, it's not the problem Uh, but um, the new generation are more exposed to social media where they can access whatever is happening in Canada or in the US or anywhere in the world they can have it just uh, from the phone so what they see or expose bila dia nampak benda tu cool but they cannot have it here yeah. so that's why we try to put uh, the components that is relevant to what we have uh, at the moment so <clears throat> it's actually it's not a new thing Concert, concert, dah many years dia dah berlaku. It's just that we put the right people, and then um, how we promote the event or the um, activities. So it is not conventional way. We try to make it uh, in motion or in uh, infographics or things like that, just to make it nice. So our creative agency works uh, is to make um, our customer or our audience handsome. <coughs> Okay, so basically about Johor Club, uh, we um, formally registered since 2012 under KBS and at the moment we have been seen uh, from the youth as a hope organization. So that means that uh, there are many community comes to us, they want to do this, they want to share this. So some we can cater, some the idea is okay. So we are, we are like the um, stepping stone for them to go beyond. <coughs> So we love to do this because this in, yeah. inspire and then attract a lot of people, especially younger generation, to have some thoughts and ideas of what to do. Okay, I would like to highlight the attention of these quotes from Mr. Roosevelt. So basically, we cannot always build the future for our youth, but we can build the youth for the future. Okay, just to share some achievement that we had since uh, past years uh, by Tourism, um, IRDA, uh, by Hope Awards and My Harapan. 
This is um, our future dreams. We plan and we feel like after doing battery, that is our shopping mall. Uh, for whoever doesn't know, can visit uh, Jalan Tampoi, 83 Jalan Tampoi, next to Angsana. Um, <laughs> A clan skit. Um, <laughs> so that the dream is to have permanent art gallery, sports, yeah. um, of course, um, retail areas and food. Okay, I think that's all for today. So I would end with love, trust and respect. Thank you so much.